Today I want to teach you how you can make Carousel Ad Creative completely free for Instagram or Facebook using Canva. It's really easy and a super effective way to show a bunch of images really quickly. We're going to be concentrating on making seamless carousels. These are the ones where when you swipe it looks like it's just one big image. These are just a really great creative and effective way to show a bunch of products really quickly and separate yourself away from competitors which are just showing boring white images. First of all before we actually start jumping in and making stuff it's important that we know how big our image is going to be and we work out some of the maths behind it. So usually a square image is 1080 by 1080 so 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels because what we're going to be creating is a seamless carousel it needs to be much bigger and so what we need to do is work out how big that actually needs to be so just a little bit of maths is needed first we need to do 1080 since that's going to be the size times by how many slides we want in the carousel so i'm going to pick five so 1080 times by five 5,400 quick maths, thank you calculator. So now we know that information, we can jump in and get started. So we just wanna to go to Canva like you normally do, create a design, we wanna do a custom size, we want that width to be like we mentioned before, so 5,400 by 1080. So and that's by pixels and we just create a new design. And now you'll see you're greeted by this massive, long, pretty useless at this point canvas. So we need to set it up and get ourselves ready for designing. First thing you want to do is go to file and make sure that your rulers and guides are showing. That's really important because that's going to help us out in just a second. So now we just want to go in and just grab a square. Okay, just a just a simple everyday square. We want to extend that all the way until it meets the bottom of our canvas and then we want to drag in a guide from the side here. So if you go to the side, the rulers there, uh, that can create this little purple line. We want to drag that to meet the end of this square. There's left a little mark there if you can see that little purple mark there. That right here is our first image. Then we want to drag this square again. We want to let it meet that. Drag out another one, plop it there, get another one, plop it there, get another one drag it out and plop it there and then we can delete that that's done with and now you can see we have our five carousel slide set up and ready to go this means that we know when this image ends this next one starts so we have a nice divider line where we know the image is going to be cut later on so now it's all about actually designing it we're going to be really quick here we're not going to mess about too much so let's just use this um let's just use this paper template for now as a background i've already uploaded my images here uh, these are pre-cut images of trainers uh, if you don't have canva pro then you can't remove backgrounds i don't have it because i'm using the free version and so i've already done this myself so i'm just going to grab some of these trainers i'm just going to plop them in and you can see we're already having one issue i want this trainer image to be center within this slide right this first slide however it becomes very difficult to do that because if i go position up here and then click center it's going to send it to the center of this entire canvas and not just this I'm working on. There's a little hack to go along with that. So I'm going to go to elements, get our handy dandy square again. Let's change the color so we can see it. And we want to just put this at the top. We want to shrink it down, we want to make it thin and drag it out to be the size of this first image. Now, if we bring it over, you can see there's that little dotted purple line that's snapping it into the middle of this shape up here, which is the length of what our first image is. So there we go. So now we know that is the center. Perfect. We can drag that over to the next one and let's drag another image in. Same thing. It's just use that purple there. We can even let it meet the other one. There we go. Perfect. I want to drag this over one more. Let's drag in these shoes here. Lovely in the center. And the next one. Let's drag in these shoes. There we go. Let it meet all the others as well. So they're all lined up. There we go. And get a final one. This one. Boom. Lovely. Okay. So they're all lined up, all even and ready for the next design part. So what's cool about these seamless ones is that we can have assets overlapping. I'm just going to use these blobs, for example, now, just so we can see. But if I place that on the edge, it's on one image and also on the next one. Let's just grab, let's just grab some more blobs. Everyone loves a blob. Let's make sure we're using all the free assets as well. We even go in and we can make sure that uh, 
these are at the front the trainers are at the front of all the stuff there we go we can add a little bit of text let's say a sale so sale now on uh, let's add a bit of style into that as well so here we go that looks cool the outlines cool that looks good so they're the outlines so we just want to plop that there so that's going to be going across two images this one and this one and i think that looks pretty cool obviously we haven't had much time to mess about so we'll uh if i had more time don't worry i designed it really well and it'll be great um however for now that'll do i think for the demonstrations so once you have done this is your finished design you want to go and download it just like you normally do a png is fine just click download it's that simple so now we want to head over to our next free tool which is called pine tools so you can just go over to pinetools.com this website is amazing it's full of really handy little tools that just make your day a little bit easier and the one we're going to be using today is called split image so just search that at the top and it's this first one split an image into smaller pieces just click on that you want to choose your file so the one that we've just finished now there we go lovely you can see it's uh, it's there in all of its glory and we want to make sure that we are splitting our images horizontally because we're splitting them that way and not that way. And the number of blocks is how many images you have. So for us, that was five. We want to make sure the quality is all the way to the top. And then finally, the big moment, we click split image. We can download each individual image or you can just download them all as a zip. I'm going to download them all as a zip. And then you can go and find your images. And just like that, you have your seamless carousel advert made just like you can see there how it's going to look but just in the bigger picture you can see that they all carry on from the next one and you can see why this will be so effective right this type of creative is nothing new it's been created for ages but now we have things like canva and pine tools it's really easy to do this stuff on your own for free and that's it that's how simple it is if you enjoyed this video make sure that you hit subscribe and like and leave a comment as well if you want that would be much appreciated you can share this with someone as well that you think will be beneficial that's also very handy uh, but until next time thanks very much and i'll see you soon Bye bye